Celtic have officially rejected the Matt O'Reilly Atletico Madrid bid. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And we're here to discuss this great news, damn it. If you're a Celtic supporter, of course, because the bid has been rejected. I always thought it kind of would be with the, the no loan, the loan to the end of the season. Of course, he did join from MK Dons, 1.5 million. We all know the good stuff. But Matt O'Reilly looks like he's staying put. But apparently, this is welcomed quite a lot of interest for Premier League club, cl clubs, clubs, I ain't no scrub, but Brendan Rodgers has said that Celtic reject it immediately, even though there was no formal confirmation, and Celtic haven't came out and actually rejected the bid, like there's no news on it really, it's part of Brendan Rodgers saying it, for word for mouth, I mean that's pretty much it, but he says, there was an offer, but Matt is a player we don't want to lose, and he won't be going anywhere in January, Roger said. It's a great testament to him and what the club can do for a player. He won his first international cap this season, and Atletico Madrid are a big club in European football. But he is very much a part of what we're doing. He has been a joy to work with, and I had a good chat with Matt on Thursday morning, and he is someone who will be here for us in the second part of the season. Atletico, they sit fourth in La Liga, 11 points behind surprise leaders Girona, have reportedly offered a deal up to worth 20 million. And if you're asking why have they offered this loan to buy, it's because of financial fair play. And here, financial fair play, we see it affecting clubs across the board. And the Fleck and Madrid are no different. And that just tends to be why we see a lot of loans deals done in January. Um, but yeah, of course, Mal Riley's been at Celtic for two years. But Rogers did describe the Fleck's offer as nowhere near Celtic's valuation, but he said the money was also irrelevant with the club not needing to sell. So let's just say if the rumours are true, it looks like a loan to buy with a 20 million um, obligation, obligation, sorry, at the end. Is that nowhere near? I mean, how much does Celtic realistically want for Matt O'Reilly? Someone phoned up Scoreboard and said that they wanted 50 million for him. I don't see how you're getting 50 million for him because... It, it, it's the league we're in. Like I seen, what was it? What was it they were asking them on on scoreboard, and they said, "How much would Henrik Larsson be in today's market?" And and people people were saying, I think it was Hugh Evans that said thirty five million. I mean, how the hell is Henrik Larsson right only worth in their eyes ten more million than Kieran Tierney? And I really rate Kieran Tierney, right? I rated him at the time when he got his move to the Premier League. But I think they're selling some people short. Then you get some people saying 50 million. 50 million, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Rogers then goes on to say he had an opportunity in the summer, but he was very happy to extend here. And obviously, Atletico Madrid is a huge club. But he knows he's in a great place. He's really kicked on this season, wants to continue with that. When asked if it would take a special offer to proceed Celtic to sell any of their key players this month, Rogers said they won't be going. It's as simple as that. January is a difficult month anyway. Whether it's bringing players in or looking to sell players, it's not something we want to do. We have no interest in that. Nicholas Kuhn, who's Celtic's sole January signing so far, could make his debut against Ross County on Saturday. Roger said work was continuing in an effort to add more recruits in the final week of the window, but nothing was imminent. And it looks like that, guys, at Celtic Park. It looks like nothing is imminent. There's not an awful lot happening. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to leave this video. Matt O'Reilly, transfer bid rejected. I feel like we've spent a lot of time today talking about it, so we're not going to waste any more time talking about it. But make sure you check out later the SPFL Transfer Roundup Show. Till then, peace.